Hey you guys. Today I want to talk about being misunderstood. I think I'm gonna do start doing motivational Sundays. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. But let's get started. The definition of misunderstood is incorrectly interpreted or incorrectly understood. Well, I will be the first to say that I am often misunderstood. I am quiet and I am reserved. And some people can see it as rude and stuck up. Today, I want to let you know that it doesn't matter what people say about you. The only thing that matters is what God says about you. You will get through whatever problems you're facing. If you have to cry, let it out. Because it's not good to keep your feelings bottled up inside. I guarantee it will make you strong. You a stronger person in the future. You don't need to hang around people who put you down. It doesn't matter who it is. It could be friends, family, co-workers, or even the preachers of the church. Sometimes they are often judgmental. I want to say that there is no one, there is no one greater than God. He sits high and he looks very low. And at the end of our journey, he is the only one that can judge us. Just forgive them and move on. Sometimes people have to knock you down in order to build themselves up. Oftentimes, in order to stand strong, you need to stand alone. Remember, if they don't motivate you, then you need to separate from them. We all are a part of God's DNA. You don't have to be like anybody else because you are wonderfully made by God. Don't change because of them. Sometimes what they are saying may have some truth to it. You need to have the spirit of discernment so that you can understand if it was from a negative spirit or a positive one. If you want to change, change for yourself or God. People don't know what you're going through, but they have the audacity to speak negative on your name. Don't let them get into your head. Proverbs 24, 1-2 says, do not envy the wicked. Do not desire their country, for their hearts plot violence, and their lips talk about making trouble. God do not want you to associate yourself with the wicked, because if you equip yourself with them, you will start acting like them. Scheming people is a part of sin. Don't let nobody make you angry. They win when they realize they are getting up under your skin. Let's face it, words hurt. Proverbs eleven seventeen says your own soul is nourished when you are kind, but you destroy yourself when you are cruel. Proverbs fifteen four reads, gentle words bring life and health. A deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. Don't let no one steer your glee. So turn that frown upside down and lift your chin and grin. You are beautiful, you are loved, and you are more than they say you are. Everybody is not going to like you. And dealing with bitter people can make you a better person. Every lesson is a blessing. You have to go through things so you can grow through things. The next time someone has harsh words for you, tell them, Devil, you are not welcome here. Just leave everything in God's hands. Proverbs 29 11 states, A fool vents all his anger, but a wise man holds back. Until next time, peace and love, because God is above. Thank you guys for watching.